Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and something that quite a few people have commented on when it comes to my videos is my makeup. For varying reasons, whether they're asking why are you wearing makeup, or just giving me advice. And then of course, there'll be people that will have never noticed that I've worn makeup in a video. Except for maybe this video here. But much like some people's reactions to me wearing nail polish, I find some of the reactions to me wearing makeup to be very weird. But we'll get back to that. For now, here is a question. What do you think of my makeup? Now, pause the video and then leave a comment. Now you may be wondering, why can't I just type the comment as I'm watching the video? No, 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 you can't do that, you can't do that. Trust me, you have to comment whilst the video is paused, okay? All right, there should be a lot of interesting comments for me to read through. If you commented something along the lines of, your makeup's great, love what you're doing, or your makeup's terrible, why did you choose that color of lipstick? Well, you're wrong. In reality, I'm not actually wearing any makeup. This is something that I've noticed with a few of my other videos, where I wasn't actually wearing any makeup. Yet people commented on my makeup anyway. Now, having said that, there is a small bit of irony about me not wearing any makeup, but I wonder if any comments will catch on to that. Now, you may be wondering why it looks like I've got a bit of makeup on, and there's actually two reasons for this. Reason number one is actually due to saturation. I have turned the saturation right up on my camera to a point where it will make it look like I've got unnatural lips. If I turn it right back down, as you can see, things look a lot more normal now. As you can see, saturation plays a huge role in whether it looks like someone's got makeup on or not. But it also makes everything look a lot more dull when it comes to colour. In fact, if I just go ahead and remove all saturation, it looks like this. I, they've taken my colour. I personally prefer a saturation that has a decent amount of colour whilst not being overly saturated. Reason number two is the lighting. Depending on the warmth of the lighting that I'm using, will change whether it looks like I've got any makeup on. Currently, I'm using quite cool lighting, but if I press a few buttons, there we go for that one, and there we go for that one, now the lighting is quite... That is way too warm. Might also be the saturation that I'm using as well. Might want to turn that down. Okay, so for some reason the saturation got reset to the really high value that I was using in the beginning. Uh, this is the saturation that I was intending for, so if I go ahead and switch this back to cool lighting now, uh, you can see the... actually no, that's regular lighting. Uh, one second, that's warm, that's regular, uh, that's... there we go, we're back to cool. Uh, lighting. So you can see that there is a difference that warm versus cool lighting makes. It's more prominent when you are using a higher saturation. My point is that all these factors can come together, make it look as though I'm wearing makeup when I'm not actually wearing makeup. Of course, there are probably a whole lot of things that I can do with my lights to make my face look a whole lot more natural, or maybe even my camera settings. I know that there's heaps of settings that I tried to delve into once, but it was overwhelming and I had no idea what I was doing to try and make myself look better. Color grading is something that if I try to do anything in that realm, I am just completely clueless. Maybe one day if I ever get up to something like 500,000 subscribers, then I'll get an editor to manage stuff like color grading and making my videos look flash. But as for now, it's just me working on this. Anyway, we're getting off topic here. Back to the question of the video, it was, why do I wear makeup? Okay, now you may be thinking, okay, the answer is that I don't. Except you'd be wrong because I am wearing makeup. You might be thinking, but earlier you said that you weren't. Yeah, that was earlier. This is now. In fact, I have very good reasons for wearing makeup in this video and potentially over the next few videos. I'm actually not going to tell you the reason for that, or at least not the specific reason for that. If you want to find out the reason, just pay close attention to when I wasn't wearing makeup and you'll probably find out why. Because the reason why I do wear makeup is actually just to conceal stuff. If I've got something like a blemish on my skin, I'll put makeup on that and hide it. That way I don't feel too self-conscious if I have a pimple or something. Which has happened in many videos and it's like, oh, I'm just going to put some makeup over that to get rid of it. The wonders of concealer, it is absolutely amazing stuff and everyone should try it. It also just makes my face look smooth. 
So why wouldn't I wear it? And here's the thing, I know that there are other YouTubers out there too who wear makeup, and no, I'm not talking about people like Emma Thorne or Callum Upton, who are very clearly wearing some kind of makeup. No, I mean people that wear makeup, and you wouldn't even be able to tell that they're wearing makeup, because the whole point of their makeup is to just make them look more presentable, not to add a bit more visual flair. You know, that's what I'm doing with my makeup, why wouldn't other YouTubers do that? Although, to be fair, I do want to make a few videos in the future where my makeup would be a bit more interesting. But getting back to the point, makeup is actually used quite often, especially in places where a lot of acting is involved except for maybe voice acting. I don't think makeup will make you a better voice actor. Sorry if I ruined anyone's hopes there. I remember all the way back in intermediate school when I was part of a stage play, even though I never actually had to go up on stage, they still put makeup on me. That was actually a weird thing, why did they do that? And I can guarantee you that things like theatre acting, even any kind of film like television or movies, they all use makeup. And the reason why I bring all this up is because I think that there are a lot of guys out there that feel like if you wear makeup, you're less of a man. And I disagree because wearing makeup can be a way to make yourself look good. And I don't think that looking good is a feminine thing. It's not a masculine thing either. It's just a thing that anybody can do and anybody can wear makeup. I don't think I have to justify myself wearing makeup. I'm making this video because I want to make this video and because I've wanted to make this video for a while to explain, hey, sometimes I'm not actually wearing makeup when you think that I'm wearing makeup, but I do wear makeup and here's why. If you don't like me wearing makeup, that is a you problem. Same goes for if you don't like me wearing nail polish, that is a you problem. Sure, you can criticise maybe my choice of how I have applied it or something, uh, that is always something that is welcome, criticism. But if it's just, oh, I don't like this, or you're less of a man because you do this, then that's your problem, not mine. Same goes for all the other things that people weirdly attack me for for some strange reason, like my choice in clothes, or how long my hair is. Hey, if you don't like my hair, just be glad that I didn't put it into a man bun. I actually figured out that, oh, wait, if I brush it, it actually does look good. And also, whilst we're on the topic of hair, let me answer the question of why have I grown my hair long? Because that is a pretty simple and straightforward answer. You see, I have high testosterone. Now, I know that testosterone can fluctuate. One day you might measure it to be high, and then later on it turns out to be really low. But my most recent test actually showed that I still have high testosterone. It was at 26.9 nanomoles per litre. That's lower than it was before, which was 29.2 nanomoles per litre, but still higher than your usual male. I know I'm as shocked as anyone else to find out that me, me of all people, has high testosterone. Anyway, because of that I've gone through a bit of male pattern baldness, so I've grown my hair out so that I can hide my receding hairline. Anyway, that's why my hair is long. I'm sure there's plenty of other questions that I can answer, but those are the main questions that I need to answer before my next video. Now, I'm sure you're all very disappointed that I've only been wearing concealer in this video. If you want to know what I look like with lipstick, well, here you go. Maybe not the colour that you're expecting, as most people expect red, but I mean, blue is still a colour that people can put on their lips. Now I'm sure people will see that and go, oh, you know what would go great with that if you to do this, that and the next thing. I would do terribly in anything else. I do not know how to apply something like eyeshadow. Anyway, I believe I've answered the question of why do I wear makeup sufficiently. It's generally to hide blemishes, but even if I didn't use it for that, I don't need a justification for why I should be able to wear makeup. But anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment letting me know what you think. Maybe you want to suggest that I wear certain makeup. In which case, I'll need money for that. And money can come from Patreon, a good, a good place to send me money. Hugh Jars, MC Nutkin, Nathaniel Muller, Vermont 177, Wolfie Mori, Graymore Ghost, Kid Vicious, Sacha Campbell, definitely not NASA, Craig D'Amelio, and Richard M. Chapman have all been kind enough to give me 20 or more dollars. Anyway, there should be a link there for Patreon. Anyway, between you and me, thank you for watching.